I am right where I am supposed to be. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I call it the asylum. Now, I'm lucky because I, I have this place to go in the mountains where I don't see people much. I don't interact very much. And I'm alone. I walk like I'm going now breathing heavy. I paint and I swim. I get along with people. Everything, you know, pretty much I'm, I'm okay. I could do it. But on occasion, on occasion the crazy slips out. I can't kill myself now. My uncle installed a toilet that actually washes your butt and your vagina and then it blow dries it. <laughs> so as a tribute to my Uncle Gene, no suicide ever, uh, as long as the toilet lasts. There are regular dogs and then there are dogs with issues. I'm a dog with issues. I am the culmination of every bad decision that I made. Every decision I made would most likely be considered the poorer choice, but it's really the path of an artist. That's it, man. No, I'm not better than, not less than, I'm just, it's also the path of a terminally ill person who somehow survived that shit. That's fucking crazy. Fucking crazy to watch people die of what you have and there's no escaping it. And then you do. Like the only survivor in an airplane crash. And I know there's others, but it's just personal feelings. It is amazing how quickly thought could land and then fly away, especially if it's a really good one. When we're born, we don't understand how shit works at all. Any, from any, you know, just nothing. It's all new, except for maybe a few people have been reincarnated and their soul is intact and they're like, what the fuck? I had a sex thought. Right in the middle of the day. <laughs> that has not happened for a long time. I hate texting so much that the only text I really ever want to get from you is, if you receive this text, I'm dead. So I think after now maybe a hundred Tinder, uh, whatever you call it, Interactions. I believe the only thing these Tinder guys of my age want is to somehow get you to say yes to coming to their apartment and giving them a blowjob. People who disturb us are our greatest teachers. Well, not the best advertising to have a broken bottle of beer or maybe it was a broken bottle of wine for your liquor store. Easy liquor and wine. You know, the only time that you ever are yourself is when you are alone. At least for me anyway. I have noticed at the time I spend living with people, I'm nice, I'm polite, I'm enjoying myself. I'm always kissing ass. I'm deferential because I think it's kind. Oh, but does it feel good just to be fucking me. Fucking motherfucking me. And you know what? That's how I know who my friends are. Because I never have to feel deferential. And I only got like maybe two. Three at the most. Where I'm just me. 
Me, motherfucking me. Funny thing about having kooky friends is that they tell you stories and you know they're true. Like my friend Clay. My dog goes for a sniff. I go for a walk and my dog goes for a sniff. When you bang your finger and your nail turns purple and it's almost certain that nail coming off, but it doesn't come off and it stays on and then you just get to watch it go through its phase and color and I mean it takes, this is going to take like six months, but it's the highlight of my day to look at my weird nail. Bugs are like puppies. They're just really excited to see you, <laughs> and they can't stop jumping all over you. But you find, but you have to kill them anyway. Uh, I am so not who I was. My skin shed, my soul shed, my caring of evil fuck shed. Enough time has passed that I can write again. I cut all this fat off and replaced it with muscle. I cut all this hair off to see who I was. I told the shop lady when she asked me how my day was going, I said it was just slightly disappointing because I missed my electric shock therapy. It's not today, it's tomorrow. Why would I change now? All my traumas are really perfectly in place. Everything's going very well as long as you keep the monsters under the bed. That's the most important thing. Keep the monsters under the bed. I learned that from my mama. And good news today, dog saves woman's life. You fucking bastard. Couldn't you just have left me there? Dear sweetest son of someone who is not me. Thinking of you, darling. I hope you're okay. I'm sunny dead to I'm Ransana de tu Amwa Amwa So this is a, this is from the guy that I met on Tinder and I dated a few times but he's a marijuana grower. So <laughs> you know I didn't yeah I just wanted to be friends and it's it's been hard to turn that around but we're friends, and I wanted him to get him to M to get me to some MDMA. I wanted some Molly, good shit, because uh, I hear it helps with depression too. And so, I'm there. Look, you know, I'm used to getting things prescribed by my doctor, pharmaceutical, really good grade. He goes, "Hey, this I got this off a guy with one hand who got it from his friend in a wheelchair, so it's got to be good shit." <laughs> Is that mean? Is it funny? Is that funny? <laughs>